Artificial intelligence has come to stay and the only way you can survive in this AI revolution is either you are building your own AI tool or you are using these tools to scale and increase productivity. When you see companies like Microsoft and Google investing millions and losing billions into a topic like this, therefore, it's a gold mine. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my knowledge that I've been learning over the past few months on scripting and machine learning. And I'm going to be showing you how to build a simple and very powerful AI writer on Google Docs, which is going to take us just a few minutes. This is going to be very helpful for anyone in the world. If you have been paying for subscription for AI tools or you're a blogger, a YouTuber, it's going to be super, super helpful. And most important, this video is for anyone who is learning and looking on to building a business on AI because that is the next generation. So if you're interested in this, watch this video step by step and make sure you don't skip any point because I'm going to break down everything detailed so that you have a full understanding and you can go out there to start implementing and building your own tools. So to demonstrate to you what our AI writer called Double Tick AI is able to do, I'm just going to go ahead and paste in a keyword here. So on our AI here, we have four different functionalities. You can be able to generate ideas, you can be able to generate an image, it generate a description for YouTube videos because definitely I use it daily and it can be able to generate paragraphs and articles. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I want to generate ideas telling me how to make subscribers smile to be able to generate for us. So as you can see, how to make you your subscribers smile it has given them and now I'm going to find the easiest way. So I'm going to choose this title here and the next thing I'm going to do is to find a description for this. So I'm just going to go ahead to the AI and I'm going to click on generate description. So looking at our description here, it is exact and straight to the point. And the next thing I'm going to be asking our AI to do is generate. Let me say I have a YouTube channel, I have a website, and I want to generate me an article for that website. So I'm just going to, as this um title is highlighted, I can go ahead and go to the article generator. So checking out to see, we can now see that um it has generated an article here. With our article is having, I think, from what I said, it has 500 words. So this is a description it has ended now we have making subscribers smile is one of the most complex ways so as you can see that's an article that it has generated and now let's get into building it yourself the first thing you need to do is to get this document i'm going to be linking a description i think it's going to be the first link that is going to be in the description there and you're going to get this document and on this document i've just put the simplified format of the whole script they are going to need to be able to build this tool what you need to do now for a start is just to copy this section here in this case i'm not going to go too detail into writing scripts but those who want to learn how to do this from scratch writing the script please drop a comment and i'm going to create a full video for that so once you have done this now you head over and open a new document i want to think everybody knows how to open a new document so in my own case i've kept it here but all you need to do is go to this website docs.google.com and once i name this for my subscribers the next thing i'm going to do this is where it happens so you go ahead and click on extensions once you click on extensions you see this feature here of google docs called scripts so you go to this script section here this app script is a feature of google docs that helps you to link any api to you can link many other things with this but here we're talking about the gpt3 so i'm just going to go ahead and paste that first section so this is it and the key thing that you have to do here is just to change this so in our case here i named it double tick ai i'm just going to change the subscribers ai and the next thing that you need to do is to put in your api key so for those who don't know about the api key it's going to help you link your tool to the gpt model so in our own case here i'm using the text davinci you can go ahead and use the davinci 02 you can use any of those different models i explained that in this my video of prompt engineering so to get our api here is very simple you just need to go to this website we need to go to open ai i'm just going to go to open ai forward slash api so you've got to open ai forward slash api i'm also going to link in the description that is a landing page where you can actually get started for open ai and gp3 everything so i'm just going to click on get started so once you click on get started here you need to have an account in my own case i already have an account so they're just going to stand by and authenticate for me so for those in cameroon you're watching this video you're definitely going to need a vpn to get this done going to run here you have authenticated your account and everything you just sign up with google it's very easy you go ahead now and click click on this position here where you see personal account when you click on personal account you're going to see view apis api keys so in this page of api keys here in my own case i already created an api key you just need to go ahead and create a secret key and once you have created a secret key you can go ahead and copy it so if i say create a secret key here it's going to go ahead and generate something for me like this and i can copy so once you have copied your api key you just need to come to this section here you put Control v and you paste your api key 
that is just it so you are done with this menu so let me explain to you what this actually has to do so it is important that you save your work now once the project is saved what actually happens here is this subscribers ai represents the title of your ai tool that's why it's going to display like mine will display in the put ai and this title here these are the elements of the drop down as you can see i kept it here in the comment form for those who understand i don't want to go too detail into the programming part but just for those who want to go ahead and customize this this is is, is the title this helps you to have that drop down section here so these are the different elements generate idea generate image and you can go ahead and add it and i'm going to be showing you how to do that in a moment so this actually handles the drop down menu and this section here these are the fixed variables to connect you with your api api and the model type so you can go ahead and change your model type so if i go ahead and just change this here to two i'm going to be using the davinci 02 text and i and go ahead and change my api key so you can change it many times depending on your link with um open ai so now if i come over here you can see i have a new ai tool here called subscribers ai if i click on it you see generate ideas so since i've never added the prompts this cannot yet work so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to go back into my script section and now i'm going to be pasting the next section of our code so i'm just going to go ahead and take this and this is actually some kind of long but this is not difficult so what actually happens here is this is a prompt that you are going to be sending this is the prompts that the api is actually interacting with so in our first case here since the first thing up half up here is generate ideas i'm just going to go ahead and copy this and once i copy this here everything i just want to make it super simple i'm going to give it as a title of our function so it's not going to be something complex we have it here as a title of our function and i'm going to take off this this is very important so this name of our function is going to interact with this so make sure that you put it correctly because it is case sensitive the next thing you need to do here is to put the prompt so in our own case here we can go ahead and ask this so if you want to generate article ideas if you want to generate ideas for your youtube videos here this is where you are going to determine it so i'm just going to go ahead and write here generate i'm just going to go ahead write generate and seo optimized so i'm asking it to generate an seo optimized title for this keyword and this other section here indicates selected text so this selected text is a text which you are going to highlight like i was doing previously so that's it to create our first prompts the first the only thing you need to change here is generate change the name of the function and you actually give the prompt so the better the prompts that you give here is going to determine what you're going to have as output so in my own case i'm not just going to write something vague like this i'm just going to write something very long because the detail of the prompts that you give like actually say seo like in this case i've written an seo optimized title someone can just write here write a title generate a title for this keyword and definitely the output you're going to have is not going to be the same as you can see what i was giving as the output there was kind of just shallow but if i have to do this for business i'm just going to make sure that i take into it and make sure that it is perfectly well so that it gives me the best titles so this is it with our first prompts and the next prompt here i'm just coming over here to copy and our prompts this other prompt is different and it is standard to generate an image so i'm just going to go ahead and copy this and i'm going to explain to you why this is standard and you don't have to change anything so once i click on this and i copy i'm heading over to our script so inside of our script now i'll just go to the bottom and at the bottom here i'm just going to paste this so to generate an image is actually standard because there's no command maybe you want to the only thing that you can change here is this prompting the prompt variable so you can actually change, change write it like to generate an image a sketch image or an image like the details about the kind of images that you want to generate so if i want to generate images for youtube thumbnail titles if i want to generate thumb, um, images for a blog article if i want to generate images for a portrait if i want to generate images for any kind of thing you just need to just play around with it and see what you're going to have so in our case here i'm just going to say generate keyword images for and this selected text is a text so if i just select the car it's going to generate images for a car so that's it for the first two prompts that we have here and i'm also going to show you after this how to add other elements to your menu and how to add other prompts so i'm just going to go ahead and click on save and i'm going to rename this as um as our subscribers ai so i'm just going to name this subscribers ai so once i do that i click on this and it is safe so i'm coming back here now to our document i'm just going to go ahead and refresh this 
so once you refresh this it's going to update with the changes you have done on the script and we're going to start seeing if our subscribers ai is perfect so after refreshing the page we see now that our subscriber ai is here we have generate ideas and we have generate image so i'm just going to put the keyword top tech entrepreneurs and i'm going to highlight it so this is our selected text like what we're doing there and if i click on generate ideas i'm going to click on our subscribers ai right here now and i'm going to generate ideas so it's running the script and it's going to generate an idea based on this keyword another important thing you need to take note is here for those who skip this video those who love watching videos and skipping you're not going to see this the first time you're actually running an api like you're running to give a request to an api or anything is going to ask for this authorization and it is very important so that no one can actually breach into your account and do something that you don't want so i'm just going to go ahead and click on continue i was trying to miss this out thank god it just reminded me so with this keyword right now if i go ahead and highlight it i go to our subscribers ai our subscribers AI, and i click on generate idea it's going to run now and let's see if it is actually working so we have 10 ideas from our subscribers ai you have an ai too so now i'm going to go ahead and write another keyword here and i'm just going to go ahead and write something I'm just going to write fast car if i write fast car and let's highlight it and see what our ai can do so i'm going to click now and say generate image so generating an image of a fast car the speed on which it's going to generate is going to depend on your internet connection and a lot more features in my own case here the internet connection is <laughs> so looking at it right now it has generated some form of fast car and as you can see we have our ai tool that is working so the article section is going to be in the main script and the other four features the other two features which have not added here is going to be in the main script i'm going to link in the description you can go ahead and download copy and paste it into that section you don't need to go to all this process but for those who are serious on learning on this i really recommend that you play around with this try it out because if you see the car that i generated here maybe you might want a realistic car you might want a car that is going to be in many different formats it's going to depend on you so putting all this together we see that we have built our ai writer our image generator in just few minutes guys this can be simple and shorter than this i just have to explain for those who have to be detailed and definitely guys listen if you go ahead and work on this you can be able to write these scripts to have so many other functionalities bigger and longer than this and sell it but so much money i don't want to go ahead and tell the amount of money you can make selling this but definitely there are so many websites that you can sell these scripts and make money another thing is you can go ahead and work on this implement it modify it and add these scripts into your own application and i was also thinking of creating a detailed video on how to create your own separate chatbot not using docs and definitely depending on the reaction of this video dropping comments i want to know what you think about this if it's a good idea and I'm going to create that very long course that you're going to learn from there and you are going to benefit a lot so if you enjoyed this video at any point which i think you did smash that like button turn on notifications on this channel because almost every day i'm going to be sharing with you valued and useful content like this i think i'm sharing value content if i'm not like this video and tell me to change the style my name is Cyril and this is double take ciao uh, I don't like and comment now okay if you don't want to like and comment just like then carry the link and go and share <laughs>